Check this out. This is the new team creation process and it's already showing that uh, the general channel is on its way out. I started to create a team. Let me just back up a bit here. Creating a team from within the team experience, the new channel experience there where you click on create a channel or create a team. Um, give it a name. We'll just paste in what we had here beforehand. And this new experience here of name the first channel. That is uh, already asking us to get rid of general and think of a better name. Now, a lot of people are uh, quite happy about this. The general channel doesn't mean a lot to a lot of people. It's just a name. Uh, generally speaking, you do general things within a general channel. But as you're starting to create a team, now you've got another choice and you slow down and you think, okay, what am I going to create uh, for a first channel? Is it going to be something for announcements? Is it going to be for meetings? Is it going to be the first project? Is it going to be a general meeting place? Oh, wait, we can't use general. What are we going to use for our general type word? Or are we just going to create channels and not really think about creating a general place to go as a team? There's a trajectory here. It looks like we're slowly being eased into thinking about channels as channels. And while they're part of a team now, uh, what could happen to the channel? Is it going to be uh, going to the Slack concept of uh, that channels are just going to be channels and there are no teams? I wonder. But here, as I'm creating this team and I'm just wanting to get on with things and start work, I now am faced with an additional choice. Do I call it general? Do I create an announcement? I don't know. Well, there's some additional information that you can click through to learn about first created channels. And uh, it brings you through to a page about creating a team from scratch, which doesn't yet show you this new experience of creating a channel. So there's more to come. I'm on first release. I'm not on tap. I'm not on any, um, I guess, hidden early experience because of my association with uh, the Microsoft MVP program. But uh, the documentation has to catch up and uh, there isn't a lot of explanation there about that first channel. Let's just go through. I'm not going to call it general just so that I can show you that I can call it whatever. I'm going to call it um, Project Thor. <laughs> All right. So we might be just creating this team for the purpose of projects. It's going to be the same group of people. That's how we have to think about it. We've created the team. Uh, let's add a couple of people. Usually I would do this afterwards. I'd like to create the team and then put things in a channel and then you know, get that all set up before I invite people into it. Uh, but just for the purpose of this demo, let's just say Laura and Matt, my demo buddies, and add. What have we got? We have a team, APAC PMO, Project Thor, that's it. Is it going to behave like a general channel? Remember, general channels have a couple of things that we can do with it for um, moderation. So I just want to go in and see what sort of settings we have here. So manage channel. Yep, we've got moderation, so we can do that on any channel. Um, yeah, it looks like we're, we're really starting to just, you know, generalize this, that a channel is a channel we aren't having any specific special channel that that general can do. If I compare this now to like another general channel that I'd created earlier, much, much earlier, manage that channel, hmm, same choices. So a channel is a channel. A general channel, name's gone. We just need to be mindful that as we're creating our new channel, that we, well, rather our new team, we think people, and then we think, what is the purpose of this uh, team initially? And just treat that as a channel. Stripping away the need for the general channel and starting to use it as a project. So I'll keep uh, 
passing my comments and my thoughts on uh, different changes in technology here. Maybe this has helped you to think through a few things. Uh, my advice here is that as you are creating that team, already have in mind what that channel is that you're going to be creating. Don't rely on having a general channel. Think about what a purpose of the team is, or as I think we're being coached towards, what is the purpose of the channel? Because maybe we won't have a team concept anymore. A bit like our shared channels. You know, our shared channels can be created, they're hosted by a team, but they um, can be shared across multiple teams. Well, that's it for me at uh, Modern Work Mentor. Hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, do like, subscribe uh, if you're interested in uh, working with me, uh, working through simplifying the way that you work, understanding the way that you work, maybe preparing yourself for things like Copilot, not necessarily from a governance perspective, but if your people aren't using Microsoft 365 the way that they should, then there's going to be not much there to leverage Copilot with. Well, thanks. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Stop.